Bobby Green makes really short work of Grant Dawson. Grant Dawson coming in right. I love high. Bobby Green. Yeah. I love, he might be my n- new favorite fighter. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm really. I, I got to love a guy who's 30 and 14, 38 years old, 37, whatever he is, and he goes and beats a guy 21 and 1, really, and younger than him. I tweeted this out. Uh, this fight was a great example, Ken, and proof of what makes UFC special and why fans watch. Their ratings are much better than boxing on a regular basis because a guy with losses can beat an undefeated guy or a guy with a record like that because they've learned how to fight. They've been tested. They've been put through the fire. They're ready. And and we don't do that in boxing. And why I think, and I want to make sure that I see my what I reminded myself to mention here, I think it's an important time for me to say this. It, not only why the brand of UFC has grown so incredibly and why they're beating boxing, my sport. Yeah, they're beating them at the ratings game uh, on regular on regular shows. Not, not when you got the huge names and you put the right fights on. Then boxing has a, still has that huge universe. But on a regular basis, and, and when they put their big fights on, they get massive views where we in boxing are not getting them on a regular basis. Because we're not putting competitive fights on. And I think the reason I want to really make special mention, it's maybe why networks are leaving boxing. You know, I think everyone's heard Showtime's leaving. HBO left already. Fox left. I, I, you know, you better be a little nervous out there, fans or, or promoters. You know, you don't care. You only care about your little piece of property. That might be going away. That might be going away little bit by little bit. You know, you think, oh, no, I still got my little place. I still, you know, I don't care about the sport. I don't care about the overall brand. Maybe you should start caring a little bit. Maybe you should. Maybe you should. Because it ain't an accident that the networks are leaving boxing uh, the way that they are. And... Maybe you should worry. And maybe boxing should take a page out of the UFC. And maybe if there was a national commission, we could we could help the entirety of the sport a little better instead of having these four or five power brokers that are the four or five promoters in the world that only care about their little piece of real estate. And at the end, like I said, it's kind of like it's kind of like what the ocean is doing to the shorelines. You go down the shore, you haven't been there for 15 years. You go down there, the shore's not as wide as it used to be. The ocean is eating away at it. A little bit by little, you didn't notice it. But then you come back here later and it ain't there, you notice it. You say, oh my God, that is happening in boxing. The shoreline is being eroded. Wake up, people. Wake up a little bit. So, on any given night, a guy with 14 losses can beat a top guy with a 21-1 record as, as Dawson had. Because the guy with 14 losses, as I said a minute ago, was fire-tested, he learned how to fight, and he can fit in with anyone. Difference from boxing, a loss. The biggest difference with UFC and boxing, a loss is not treated like a death sentence in the UFC. It's a chance to learn, become a better fighter, not just a guy who has a built-up record. And uh, I, I just, I love, as I, as I think you could tell already, I love seeing an underdog like Green win. I think it's great for the sport. I think it's great for people because people love underdogs because they're underdogs. And they say, if that underdog can win, I can win. And I I think it's so important to not erase that element from boxing. As I said, great lesson to young fighters. Sometimes you have to lose to learn how to win. Don't be afraid to take that fight that's 
little risky. Don't, don't, because it might be the fight you actually need, even if you lose, to learn the things you have to learn to win later on. Yeah, yeah. And don't be afraid in life to take that job, take that advancement, take that, take that challenge. That might be just what you need. Yeah, it's scary. Yeah, it's risky. But it might be just what you need to find out what you need to find out about yourself to get further down the road in whatever you're doing. So, uh, Green was... Green, he also showed that, as, as I often say, that it's not just the punch that counts, Ken, but the delivery of it. From his lefty, you know, southpaw stance, Green, at the right distance where he was safe, he dropped his hands and subtly, just very subtly, he had Dawson looking for a lead right hand, you know, which is the southpaw jab. And instead, with no warning, what did Green do? He threw a relaxed, and DC made mention of this, all those guys are great. They do a great job, those commentators. But he threw a relaxed, clean, straight left hand. Unexpected, unseen. It dropped Dawson. And of course, Green knew what to do with all his experience. He wasn't letting this get away from him. He jumped on him, finished him. Again, great upset win for the underdog, Green. Green.